Welcome back to PhD TV, and this is part five of my fiance rating my fragrances. In this little series, and I'll link them up here to all the other videos for you to check out, my fiance has been rating my fragrances and basically seeing which ones, in her opinion, are her favorite without realizing it. She does not know what each of these smells are. She doesn't know which ones they're associated with. She just knows what she's smelling. So brands and things like that are completely irrelevant here. All she has is this little cup of coffee grounds to neutralize the scents out of her nose before continuing. And at the end of this little series, with each victor out of each of these lists, they will all come together to fight for the basically another round of rating between each of those to see which one is the best fragrance of my entire collection. With nothing more to be said, let's continue. Part five. Yeah, right off the bat, this one has a very spicy scent to it. Um, it does like, bam, punch you in the face. Like it even hangs out in the nose, like up in your sinuses with a very uh, spicy scent. I, yeah, it smells like a barbershop. It smells like something that would be um, like in an aftershave, maybe. I mean, it's not terrible. It smells like you just had a fresh, clean cut maybe yeah very very spicy very musky yeah i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give it a six because i don't know what's to come after these so i'm gonna play safe and give it a six because i don't hate it but it's not by any means my favorite okay i actually like this one yeah i like this one this one is a sweet and spicy yeah i like this one a lot this one's so much better than the other one for me because i do tend to lean more on the sweet slash fresh side rather than a spicy scent, especially for our age range, which is anywhere between like 20 to 35, I would say. I like this one a lot. This one is very clean. Um, you could definitely wear this as an everyday scent. Like you would just throw it on right in the morning when you get out of the shower, go to work, go about your day, and it would still smell great. But I also feel like if you dress this up, like if you're wearing a suit or if you're wearing like a button up and a tie, or if you're just dressing up to, you know, take your special someone out on a date, or if you're going to a special event and you just want to look nice and you want to smell nice, I feel like this is a good one. Uh, it's not so sweet that you smell like Willy Wonka, but it's not so um, spicy that you do smell like you just walked out of a spice cabinet. I like this one. This one's a good. Com this one's a good combo. I'm giving this one an eight. <clears throat> this smells like syrup. <laughs> it's um almost like an overly sweet smell, but not like a candy sweet, like a like a syrup sweet. Like it just sits very um very high up in the nose. Very very like very sweet. It's all I can say about it is it's sweet. I'm not a fan of it. It like dies down to almost like a tiny bit of spice mixed with some lemon. No, not even lemon. Maybe like some orange. I don't know. But it's I'm I'm not a fan. I'm I'm giving this one a three. Now this one is sweet. This one almost could pass as feminine, I feel like, because of how sweet it is. And it's got like an after scent of a, a floral. It doesn't really have spice in it whatsoever. Not that I'm picking up. It's very sweet, very floral, maybe like a tiny touch of woodsy. If I didn't know that this was a men's fragrance collection and someone just handed this to me, I would 100% believe that this was a feminine scent. Yeah, I mean, it smells good. If uh, you're looking for a feminine scent, then I would be like, there you go. But then I would rate it maybe like a seven. But considering it is so feminine and obviously you came here looking for a men's fragrance or a more masculine fragrance, I shouldn't say men's, a more masculine fragrance, then I'm gonna have to drop it down to a five. It does smell good, but again, either very new, like gender neutral or like a neutral smell leaning more towards the feminine scent. Okay, this one's very spicy. Coming off as a barbershop fragrance, um, more like woodsy slash spicy, I would say. It, it's not so intense that it's hitting you in the face or like as soon as you smell it, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so spicy or oh my gosh, that's so woodsy. Um, it doesn't do that. It's very subtle, but it does smell good. It's like fresh meets woodsy and spicy together. It, it smells very good and it's not as intense as some other fragrances I've smelled are. Not, it, it, it smells good, not my favorite, but personally, but it does smell good. Again, if you're looking for that clean scent, but that also like a little spice with like a little extra something of woodsy, um, to me that makes it really masculine. Put that together, that's what this is. Not sure what fragrance this is because I'm just handed a blank card. But yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna give this one a 7.2. I like this one. This one does, uh, it come across as a spicy, 
but like an undertone of sweet. Maybe a little bit of like a wood smell. Honestly, this might sound a little crazy, but it kind of smells like it has bourbon in it. <laughs> That might be 110% wrong, but that is what it comes off to me because to me when I smell bourbon, after you get past the alcohol smell, of course, it kind of gets that like sweet and spicy kind of scent going, depending on which bourbon you're smelling. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah, very barbershop, very fresh, but it has that wood and spice together. I think I said that about the last one, but this one's a little more intense on the spice. Yeah, this one's, uh, this one focuses more on like the spice and the freshness, whereas the one prior to this this one it focused more on like the fresh and the woodsy smell so um yeah i like this one i'm gonna give this one actually a 7.6 all right so i think we're catching on to something here and that is that creed clones or inspired buys are good what one was cremos silver water and birch which we got right here, Silver Water and Birch. And I was sponsored by Cremo a few videos ago, which I will post up here for you to see if you want to check that review out. But yeah, that's another fragrance that's in that $300, $400 range versus $23, but she liked this the most in this competition, so go Cremo. Guys, thanks so much for watching our round five of our fragrance competition. Um, again, I'm having so much fun doing this, and Cremo, coming in clutch. Thank you so much for sponsoring him in one of his previous videos. Uh, obviously, I do love your scents. They smell great, especially on him. But yeah, if you like this video, if you like what you've been watching and you want to follow along with us to competition number six, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below for what you want to see. Thanks so much for watching PhD TV, guys. Bye, see you next time.